Hey everybody, it's your friend Syndicated. I'm showing you some new plants. This one is a uh, split rock, also known as Pleosplosnelli. Okay, I'll put it down there. It's indigenous to South Africa and known as a mimicry plant. It's grown well in shale and sandstone and it's a medium difficulty. I found these kind of rocks, they like to be pretty much and left to their own devices, they don't like too much water, they don't like to be bothered. From the middle there, that will open up and a new one will emerge. So here's the name, the scientific name, and the regular name. They call it Split Rock. And it's a beautiful plant, and it will last you years and years if you take good care of it. The next one on the list is Lithops. Or lithops, it's also known as the stone faces. This is one as well as one that splits in the middle and um, new growth will come out of there. Sometimes uh, a bloom, a blossom, a flower will come out. You gotta be really careful with these. Um, you see it has a little bit of dust in there, so you try to keep it clean. I, I was blowing in there, I didn't want to disturb it too much, but you can get a soft brush and brush out any debris, sand or dust gets in there. Um, it likes to be kept clean. So it's interesting to know that <clears throat> the surface here, it's like a window. It allows for light to penetrate and uh, for it to photosynthesize the energy. It's a beautiful plant. It's very tactile. I love it. It feels, it's just like beautiful. And um, it's going to last you years as well. As long as you take good care of it, do not overwater this one or the previous one. They they don't like too much water. In fact, they will get root rot. So be careful and just keep it like this, a little bit plump, not too much. I love it. It feels so cute. Next one is this one, which is a uh, paper spine, Opuntia articulata, paperanthica, paperan, paperacantha, whatever. <laughs> so sorry, I don't mean whatever. Opuntia articulata, papyracantha. There we go. Um, one interesting, I love this plant. I saw it and I was like, I don't care if it's more expensive. I usually buy the smaller ones. I said, I don't care if it's more expensive. I must have it. Because, wow, look, it's so tactile. Like, it doesn't, <clears throat> it feels just like paper. So, I'm going to be quiet and let it um, show you the paper sound. So did you hear that little sound? Yeah, it sounds just like paper rustling. It's really, really a super cute plant. I'm so glad I found it. Apuntia articulata, paparacantha. And um, I'm sure I didn't pay like five, six dollars for it. But as you can see, there's a lot of little um, opportunities in here to propagate more plants. I just love touching it. It's really very, very quite tactile. And I see down there they have little tiny little spikes emerging and I thought to myself well you can touch anything except those little tiny spikes but actually those tiny spikes are as well they're very um soft they nothing on this plant has hurt me so far and I touched it you see that little tiny one in there I thought oh maybe when they first emerged they're a little more prickly but they're not they're always soft as far as I know so far well, I just got this plant so I'll tell you what happens <clears throat> so um there you can see there's different little growths coming on top and later on i'll i'll take it out of this pot and i'll replant it and i'll show you how it comes out it's really cool okay so next on the list this is um known as the <laughs> don't ask me it's uh, some kind of a peanut cactus no, that's not it. Anyways, it's just some kind of a puntia. This is the peanut cactus here. That's the peanut cactus. Um, it's uh, easy to grow. It's indigenous to Argentina. Here is a really cute one. This one is called, a, they call it snowball cactus, thimble cactus, mam mammillaria gracilis fragilis. That one doesn't hurt, neither does this one. Well, this one will hurt if you do it at a certain angle, but normally it doesn't hurt. You can pet it. <laughs> well, they are kind of like pets, these uh, little plants. They live in your house, and they make you happy, And they, but they don't require much care. This is a ghost plant. Um, it's also called Graptopetalum paraguin, paraguayense. Okay, so it's indigenous to... 
Tamaulipas, Mexico. It's funny because a lot of these plants come from South Africa, Madagascar, and there's a lot from Argentina. Thank you for watching. Please come again. Bye. Arigato.